Did you know if you would have invested just $1,000 into Chainlink, the 45th ranked cryptocurrency by market cap during the 2018 bear market, then during our last bull market in 2021, that $1,000 investment would have been worth over $87,000. That's a gain of over 8,700%. So while everyone's right to be chasing those top 25 cryptos, let's not forget that there are always hidden gems hidden in the mid caps as well. In today's video, I'll be breaking down the top mid cap cryptos from 26 to 50 by market cap. And then I'll rank them in the tier list based on their potential returns after analyzing their utility and price history. So are you ready to discover which mid cap cryptos have the potential to outperform the rest? Because let's face it, that next outcoin wave is coming and you don't wanna get left behind. So the first crypto we'll be starting with today is Render. Now you might be thinking, wait a minute, this is 29th, but in the top 25, I had to skip a bunch of stable coins. That's why we're starting with 29 today. If you wanna see the cryptos before that, you can check out last week's video where I ranked the top 25 cryptocurrencies. So Render is currently sitting at $7.44 at a $2.8 billion market cap. Render has already made almost a 5,000% move from its bottom back in 2022, setting a new all-time high this year in March. It's currently down about 44%. So just with a move back to its previous all-time high, it's about an 80% return. You're basically gonna be at the point of doubling your money. I wouldn't be surprised to see Render break into the top 15 here in cryptos by market cap. Right now to get into the top 15, it would need to just get over $8 billion, which is not that far off. But we have to take into account where that market cap might be during the next bull run. In 2021, during the peak of the previous bull run, to be a top 15, coin yet to be around 15.7 billion dollars so that would already put it at around a 5x if we look back at the peak of the bull run during 2017 to be a top 15 coin you had to be around 3.4 billion dollars so that's a 5x jump a 5x jump from 15 would mean around 75 billion dollars now honestly that's kind of high we're we're shooting for the stars there so let's try to be a little bit more conservative and let's just say that it will just double last time's peak so potentially around 30 billion dollars for a top 15 coin, that would be a 10X for render with potential upside from there, depending how high the crypto market goes. So we're gonna start off hot and put render right up here with that 10X to 20X potential. Next up, we have Hedera HBAR, currently sitting at about eight cents, $2.8 billion market cap. During the last bull run, it went up over 6,200%. And so far this time around, it really hasn't moved up much from its bear market bottom. Currently sitting down 87% from its previous all-time high back in 2021. So from current prices, just a move back up to its previous all-time high, that's about a 670% return. If we're thinking we're gonna hit a new all-time high this time around, we could potentially be looking at around a 10X at that point. So I think it's safe to say that HBAR can definitely five to 10X during this bull run. Next up, we have Stellar XLM, currently sitting at nine cents and a $2.7 billion market cap. This thing is an OG going all the way back to 2014. Now the crazy part here is that last bull run, it didn't not set a new all-time high compared to 2018. Believe it or not, during the 2018 bear market, Stellar was a top four cryptocurrency, but this one ended up peaking much earlier than Bitcoin did. You can see that it peaked here in May of 2021, while Bitcoin peaked in November of 2021. By then, it had already crashed 60%, but you can see that from its bottom, it went up almost 3,000% before that 60% crash. And right now, it's still down 88% from its most recent highs back in 2021. If we look back at its all-time high back in 2018, then it's down 90%. Just a move back to its previous high in 2021 would be around a 750% return. A move to its previous all-time high would be an 893% return. I'm gonna be honest, this one is a tricky one, but I do see the potential for another 5 to 10x during this bull run. So that's exactly where I'm gonna put it. Next up, we have Cosmos Atom sitting at $6.87, a a $2.6 billion market cap. This one came out in the middle of a bear market, but did over a 4,000% return from its 2020 bottom to its 2021 top. This one's currently down over 84% from its previous all-time highs. Just to move back to its previous all-time highs would be about 5, 6X. If we're thinking it makes new highs, we're looking at that 10X region. So another one with potential to 5 to 10X during these next 12 to 16 months. Next, we have Mantle sitting at 81 cents, 2.6 
$6 billion market cap. This is a layer two scaling solution for Ethereum. And we've always seen these do pretty well. Now it is pretty new. It's only been out for about a year now. You can see that from its bottom, it's already up about 392%, currently down about 48% from its all time high set just a few months ago in April. So just to move up, we're talking about basically doubling your money, 91% there. It's currently the second biggest layer two coin, only behind Polygon Matic. We know that at one point in time, Polygon was a top 10 coin. So I think there's definitely a path here to get to the top 20 for Mantle. That would be around $5.5 billion. And if we think this top 20 here doubles or triples during the bull run, that could be anywhere between 10 to $20 billion. That's between a five to 10 X basically. These are always harder to gauge because it's a new coin. So there's not much history to really look back on, which is why I'm comping it to Polygon Matic here, which we know was a top 10 coin at one point. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this one in the five to 10 X tier as well. Next up, we have Arbitrum sitting at 79 cents, $2.58 billion. This is another new project, which is also a layer two coin. You can see it's actually the third biggest layer two coin behind Mantle and Polygon Matic. Currently down about 68% from its recent all-time highs back in January of this year. So move back there. We're talking about a 2X already. So again, very similar to Mantle. There's not a lot of price history to go back on this. If we're pricing it with other layer two projects like Polygon and Mantle, then we have to think it has the potential to do the same thing around a five to 10 X during this bull run, which is exactly where I'm going to put it. All right, next up we have OKB sitting at $42.23, $2.5 billion market cap. OKB is a utility token for the OKX trading platform. It is the fourth biggest exchange token on the market right now. And based on history, we know that these usually do pretty well, as long as the exchange doesn't go under, of course. We can see that this one is not a new player. It's been here since 2018, so it's survived two bear markets, and it's already gone up as high as 664% from its bear market bottom here, setting a new all-time high back in March of this year. Currently down about 43% from its recent all-time high. So a move back, we're talking about a 72% return. We can pretty much count on that happening. If we're thinking that it jumps into the top 25, which I think is a realistic expectation, during this bull run with more money coming into the market, more people trading, etc. Currently top 25, you need at least 3.5 billion. This number could be somewhere around $10 billion, I believe, and above maybe during the bull run. That would probably put it somewhere around a 5X, I think, potentially more, since we don't really know what that ceiling is going to be. So I think it's a pretty safe investment to be probably in that five to 10 X range as well. Next, we have Kronos sitting at nine cents, $2.5 billion market cap. Again, another exchange utility token. This one is for crypto.com. During the last bull run, this thing exploded. I remember this thing being everywhere. They were running ads everywhere over a 1600% move. And the crazy thing is that it's back almost to the same prices where it was during the last bear market before it really took off. You can see that it's still down 90% from its all-time highs. So just a move back to its previous all-time high, that's already an 871% return. I think a dollar could potentially be in its future. That would be around a 941% return. So I think this one pretty easily does a five to 10 X with potentially even a higher ceiling, but that's just gonna depend on how the exchange performs during these next 12 months or so. So next at 37 is Filecoin, sitting at $4.41, $2.48 billion market cap. It's a decentralized storage network, hence the name Filecoin. During the last bull market, look at this, how insane this is, 10,308% return from the bottom here. And what's interesting is this thing is back down to that same price level. It's down 98% from its previous all time high. And what's even crazier is that just a move back to its previous all time highs, guys, we're talking about over a 5,000% return. So just seeing this with this potential upside, this is definitely worth a gamble to throw into your portfolios. Even if we don't get 5,000% return, let's say it goes somewhere halfway around here, that's still over a 25, 26X at that point. So I think Filecoin is gonna be the second one that we throw up here in the 10 to 20X tier because it's done it before. So I wouldn't be surprised if it did it again. At 38, we have Stacks sitting at $1.65. 
$2.4 billion market cap. Stax enables smart contracts and decentralized apps on Bitcoin, which has been a trending narrative this year. You can see it's already up over 1,700% from its bottom back in 2022. It's currently down about 57% from its recent all-time highs back in April. So just to move up, we're talking about 128% return already. So it's basically a guarantee to double your money if you buy at the current prices here. Once it returns to those all-time highs, because we know it's only a matter of time. Obviously not financial advice, just my thoughts on it. I think this narrative will continue to play a part in the Bitcoin ecosystem and is probably a pretty safe shot to bet on for at least a five to 10X from here. So we're skipping first digital USD because it's a stable coin. So next we have Immutable sitting at $1.57 and $2.3 billion market cap. Now this one came out during a pretty bad time in the market, but once it bottomed, it went up over 900%. It's currently down about 57.5% from its recent high set in March with the potential for a 133% return just if it gets back to those recent highs. If it gets back to its price when it first came out, we're talking about a 259% return. Immutable is also a layer two, a scaling solution for NFTs on the Ethereum network. So if you're a believer in NFTs and think they're gonna do a comeback this bull run, then this might be something that you're interested in. Again, with these, there's just not a lot of history. It's hard to really predict what's gonna happen here. We, we think that it, it will at least two to five X with the potential upside to five to 10 X, right? So let's go ahead and be optimistic and say that it will indeed five to 10 X during the next bull run. Next at 41, we have Maker sitting at 2,385, $2.2 billion market cap. So kind of an expensive crypto, which is something that we're really not used to seeing other than like Bitcoin and Ethereum. And I wonder if that affects it in a negative way. Maker is a governance token for MakerDAO. And you can see during the last bull run, it went up over 1,200 hundred percent we're currently down about 60 percent from that previous all-time high and it's down 37 percent from its recent high back in April. It's already gone up about 700% from the bottom that it set here back in June of last year. And a move back to its recent highs, we're talking about a 61% return. A move back to its previous all-time highs, we're talking about 151% return. So it's hard to say how high this could potentially go. This seems to be more stable and less volatile. I'm thinking this one probably does a two to five X during this bull run. It's already up a lot from its bottom, so I can see that from current prices, we can probably do around a two to five X is what I would say. So that's exactly where I'm putting it here. Next up, we have VeChain sitting at two cents, $2.1 billion market cap. VeChain has been around for a pretty long time. You can see during the last bull run after it bottomed in 2020, it went up over 19,500%, which is insane. And what's more insane that it's currently down 90% from its previous all time highs. Just a move back up to its previous all-time high, we're talking about 900% return. Not only do I think that's definitely doable, but I think the upside goes well beyond that. It's currently down 52% from its recent high, and just to move back up to that recent high, we're talking about 100% return, so you're doubling your money. I think VeChain is going to be the third one that I put here in this 10 to 20X tier, because it's already shown historically that it has some insane upside. Next, let's look at Sui, sitting at 88 cents, $2.1 billion market cap. Sui is a layer one blockchain actually founded by X meta executives. It has some big investors behind it like Coinbase, Binance Labs, Circle Ventures, A16Z, and Samsung Next. You can see it's already gone up about 2000% from the price where it launched and it's currently down about 62% from those highs. So just to move back there, we're already talking about 164% return guys. So like the other new projects, these are hard to really predict where they could go since we have no real history on it. But based on its team and backers, I have to put it up here with the potential 10 to 20 X cause I could see this going from 2.1 billion and potentially getting into this top 20 range where it should be anywhere between 10 to $20 billion at that point. Next we have the graph GRT sitting at 22 cents, $2.1 billion market cap. This one did around 2,800% return during the last bull run and it's still currently down over 92% from its all-time highs. And look at this, if it were to get back to its all-time high that it set back in 2021, 
we're talking about a 1300% return. Guys, that's insane. It's currently down 58% from its recent highs back in March. So just to move back up there, we're talking about 136% return. And when we look at where it could potentially go to, we have to put this up here in the 10 to 20 X potential list. At 45, we have Tau sitting at $301, $2.1 billion market cap. This one has stormed onto the scene with the AI narrative. Over 24 100 percent return already since it bottomed in May of 2023 and it's down 66 percent from its all-time high that it set recently in April. Just to move back up to its April prices we're talking about a 200 percent return. That's tripling your money. I expect this to remain one of the top dogs in the AI space. I'm gonna say that this has the potential to go 10 to 20 x during this bull run from current prices. All right next on the list we have OP Optimism sitting at one dollar 87 cents 2.1 billion dollar market cap. Optimism is another layer two project that came out in the middle of the bear market. After its bottom, it went up over a thousand percent, hitting a all-time high recently in March. It is currently down 65% from that recent all-time high. I'll move back up there. We're talking about almost a 200% return. This has A16Z and Paradigm as backers, currently the sixth biggest layer two project. We've seen how well these layer two projects do. So I think $10 is a pretty conservative and real realistic expectation for optimism with the potential to go 20 to 25 dollars which will put it between that 5x to maybe even 15x so for being optimistic with optimism then we can land it here in the 10 to 20x tier at 47 we have dog with hat currently sitting at a dollar 99 1.9 billion dollar market cap it is currently the fourth biggest meme coin by market cap this has probably been one of the biggest memes of the year currently down about 69 percent from from its all-time highs set back in March. So just to move back up to those previous all-time highs, we're talking about 155% return. If we think this is this bull run's version of Shiba, then we could potentially see this passing both Shiba and Doge. If you guys remember during the last bull run, Shiba did pass Dogecoin at one point. That would mean Dog with Hat getting to a market cap of above $20 billion probably at that point. Definitely, definitely has that potential to do a 10 to 20X, I think pretty easily if it goes up to where Shiba and Doge are. Three cryptos left here, almost done. We have Lido sitting at 223, $1.9 billion market cap. This is also a project that came out in the middle of the bear market. It's run up about 361%, so nothing too crazy from that bottom to the top. Current pullback is sitting around 56% right now. A move back up to that previous all time high set in January would be 131% return. So this one's a little hard to gauge. We can see it really hasn't gone up too much since its inception it already has the most staked ether since it is a liquid staking project so i'm really not sure what the upside is here as far as comps i think with this one we're probably staying more around that two to five x a little bit more conservative it doesn't seem like it just has that high upside potential volatility. It hasn't shown it in the past, and the past is my personal biggest indication of the future. So I'm keeping it in the 2X to 5X tier. And look, if we're being honest, if a project's upside, I'm thinking that it only has two to 5X potential, I'm not holding these in my portfolio. For that, I'd rather hold Bitcoin and Ethereum. So honestly, these two for me will probably be in the sell tier. I just have no interest in holding these in my portfolio. Next is Injective, sitting at $20.55. 1.9 billion dollar market cap this one came out in the right time in the middle of the last bull run returning over 6600 percent after that it pulled back about 95 percent from its all-time highs during the bear market and ever since its bottom it's done another 4000 percent return so currently it's down 60 percent from its all-time high that it just set in march so just to move back up we're talking about 150 percent return already and i really wouldn't be surprised to see this one get above that 120 to 150 dollar price point so i think this one definitely has that potential to get to that 5 to 10 x range the final one that we're looking at today is are we sitting at 25 dollars 59 cents 1.6 billion dollar market cap this one reminds me a bit of filecoin it's in the data storage sector during the last bull run it returned over 1200 percent and so far during this run it's already gone up over 1200 percent it's currently down about 47 percent from its recent highs 
here in May, just to move back up would mean about an 84% return here. But the more interesting thing is that it hasn't reached its previous all-time highs yet. So if it hits those all-time highs again, we're talking about a 243% return. Now this one's a little harder to gauge. If we're thinking that it could hit $100, that's really only about a 3X. At 150, that's only about a 4.5X. Do we really think this is gonna run up all the way to $200? I mean, it's possible, but I don't know. So because of that, I'm leaning for this one in the two to five X potential tier. And like these below, I just don't have any interest in these that only have two to five X. For that, I just buy Bitcoin or Ethereum. So this is gonna be a sell for me. I won't have any of this in my portfolio. So take a screenshot of these rankings, guys. And now that you've seen the top mid cap crypto rankings, you might be wondering how they stack up versus the top 25 cryptos in the market. So here's something interesting. During the last bull run, six out of the top 10 gainers came from the top 25 cryptos. With Binance and Doge leading the pack, BNB with over 12,000% return and Doge with over an 11,000% return. That's over 100x each. In this video, I dive deep into the top 25 cryptos that have the most potential for massive gains during this bull run. So if you want to discover which cryptos you want to be buying, holding, or selling to maximize your gains during this bull run, then you need to click on this video on the screen right now. I'll see you guys there.